大家好，我叫保罗，欢欢迎来我的频道。如果你是我频道的新手，请不要忘记订阅了 ，OK？ 然后呢，如果你喜欢啊、呃、这部影片，请按赞按钮 ，OK？ 谢谢你们。OK， guys， hopefully I say correctly in Chinese， right？ So today, right now, I'm in um a Broadway. As you can see, Broadway behind me. Yeah. So we're gonna try a、uh, a Chinese. Street, a Chinese and Taiwanese street food called、uh, Tian Ping. In、uh, in English, I think is a、uh, Chinese crepes. So today we're gonna try two of the Chinese street food as a second week of the street food from Food Motion Channel. So this is the first one, and the second one we're gonna get in、uh, called Kuo Pao in near Chinatown. All right. Okay, keep tuned. So here's Griddle King. So okay, guys. So I got the Tianping or the Chinese script already. So let's find a place, probably somewhere there in the park, to, to try this one. All right? Okay, let's. Ah, one minute. A few moments later. Okay, guys. Okay, so I'm in the Victoria Park right now. Behind me is the Sydney Uni. So I do have two Tianping.、Uh, one is the breakfast one. One is the lunch one. So let's try the breakfast one first. Yeah. So it's a, I had I choose the pickle egg and spam. They say they got a yutiao inside, and also some、uh, chili garlic and a sweet bean sauce as a dressing as well. So let's open up. It looks so big, guys. If you can see from inside, it's so big. Yeah. All right. So okay, let's open up. Look, guys, it's quite a a big crepes. I got you can see on the top. I got egg as a layer as well. Inside, I get the sauce and the egg, but I haven't seen the spam yet. So let's bite the first one and see. They cut in half. This looks like a kebab though, but it's made of crepes. Yeah, there you go. Let's get the first bite. Mm. Mm. I can see guys, this the the yutiao, this the Chinese、uh, fat bread, and、uh, the sauce is really light, so it's not really、uh, strong and overpowering. But I can still taste the egg and the crunchiness of the the yutiao itself, but. I haven't tasted the,、um, the spam yet. I'm still looking what the spam is. Hmm.、Huh? So there's spam there. As you can see, it's inside. So the spam itself is a bit salty, but the sauce and the chili garlic sauce is not really that overpowering with everything. To be honest with you. I can't really taste the the sweet bean. It's not sweet, it's like the the sweetness. I can't really taste that much, and the spiciness. So this one is not not really spicy. It's just a bit bit bland for me, a little bit in the flavor wise. Yeah. But for breakfast, I think one trip like this can make it full for the at least for the whole day for me, though. Hmm. You can sprinkle it as well in the egg. Sounds good. 
and there's the pickle there the inside there's the pickle as well let's open up see where's the pickle Here we go, guys. We got the chili powder, a little bit of pickle, and a little bit of spam. I think the sauce, if they put a bit more sauce, it's gonna be more tastier. Right. So, let's get one more bite of this and move on to the the lunch one, yeah. Hmm. The pickle is very crunchy, but. It's not really sour like a normal pickle. Just a normal, it's just a standard one. So actually, it's, it's a quite not bad for breakfast though. You can still taste a bit of the Chinese flavor inside from the the, the paste itself. Well, it's quite a, a very light breakfast, but the portion is not as light. It's very heavy, <laughs> right? Okay, let's put this one away first before the fly eating away with me as well so let's save it for later this one turn two okay let's put this aside and let's try the lunch one it's a bit more heavier than the other one and the, the texture here we go the texture is quite the same it's like a kebab but with the crepes inside of tortilla. I think the egg, I can see the egg on in the inside there, the layer. As if we can see it, kind of like yellowish. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. The first bite of the beef cumin for lunch for the lunch crepe. Mm. Well, I haven't touched anything in the first bite. It's only lettuce in the first bite, so. <laughs> but I can taste the fast, fast flavor already inside. But it's not as strong as um, a normal fast pass. So they just put a little bit of uh, fast pass inside the wrap. And the cumin also. I can taste the balance between the fast pass and the cumin as well. So let's have a big bite and see if we combine everything how it tastes, yeah? Mm. I think they put a bit chili inside the beef in the in the sauce as well. So it's slightly spicier than the other one. As the breakfast one, you can't taste the the sauce and the flavor is kind of a bit bland. But this one is kind of like the flavor is kind of explosion in my mouth. It's kind of have a cumin flavor. Uh, you can taste the fast spice. But the chili is really kick in though. Really can, I can really taste the chili inside this. If you love spice, this one good for you. But if you doesn't like too spicy or doesn't like spicy food at all, I think this one really spicy for you. But for me, I like a bit more spicy than this one. Right, let's get another bite, shall we? Mm. The inside the lettuce. And also I'm batting the, the onion as well. The beef itself. So the beef itself is not really um, have any, any taste. Just like a bit saltiness taste. But after you bit more bite and bite, the skimming and the chili, it's a bit more um, relaxed, like a bit more come up, come into life. If you know what I mean, like, you know, you bite, bite and bite, the chili really kick in with a trace of the cumin and the fast spice flavor is disappearing after you have a few bites in the middle. It's, it's uh, have a strong cumin more than the fast spice. But overall taste is okay. It's quite delicious for a street food. This one reminds me when I have in um, in Shanghai a few years back. But in Shanghai it's more I think more authentic and a bit more flavorless. They put a bit more sauce, more everything. When you buy the crepe is a bit more crunchier and the yutiao. I think they don't use detail back in Shanghai, they use like a, a crispy a beans, I think bean spot skin. So when you buy it, it's like kind of crunchiness, you know, like, um, oh my gosh, like a KFC crunch. So it's more enjoyable and really delicious. All right, guys. So 
that's the lunch one but they got another menu as well in the griddle king they have like um the sweet menu and also some other flavor from other country like a fish one like a karaoke a kimchi but today because i want to um doing chinese and tony street food i stick with the traditional flavor all right and also i have the drink chinese street food we have the soy milk it's not it's not chinese but let me find the straw food. i think i dropped the straw <laughs> one second guys there you go found it so let's taste the soya soya milk mm. the soya milk is fresh it have a fresh taste so it's not too sweet as a normal soy milk drink in the bottle as you can see if you can buy in the chinese supermarket but this one just correct you still can taste the tofu flavor inside and the sugar is not that much so it's quite enjoyable but i think in traditional chinese way when you drink the soy milk i think they drink it warm but for me because in sydney right now it's kind of a bit hot so i drink with that with the with the with the ice i don't have the, i have the all the greasiness and and drain down with the soy milk man it, it tastes so perfect all right guys so that's all for me for the first trip let's stay tuned for the second one which is the kua pao a chinese i think that um a pork a pork bun like a, like the half pork bun one and i think there's a picture up here if you can see so okay so stay tuned for the next one don't don't go anywhere be right back all right then okay guys so here i am in uh, the second location in darling square so we're gonna have the the kua pao just behind me here the I think the Mr. Bao alright let's get in and order one All right, guys. So here's the pao pao, and also I got the the normal uh, barbecue pork bun as well from Mr. Bao in Daring Square. Well, so this is the the pao pao. We I think a bit a bit a crisp, a crisp pork belly one. Usually the original one is just like um, a slow cooked pork belly, but and this place is the crispy. One. The skin look very crispy, guys. This, very crispy and the inside you have the sauce in the bottom there and i don't know probably just a bit lettuce or coriander there i think coriander not lettuce coriander and cucumber with the hoisin sauce in the bottom all right let's try the uh, crackling first i can't wait it still looks so, so delicious and so crispy let's try first the crackling mm -hmm. Mm. I don't know if you can hear it guys, it's very crunchy, wow, it's not salty at all, the skin, and the crunchiness is just like a, a pork cracker, but a bit, a bit tougher than pork cracker, man, I love the skin so much, mm. you can hear it guys, or not? Probably you can hear it because it's super, super crispy. Okay, so let's taste the whole thing with the with the pork and the bun and the hoisin sauce. Where should I start? No, oh, too big. But where should I ah, start from this side? Okay. Man, it's so good. The meat itself, the pork, is very soft and tender. And the oyster sauce is just right quantity, so it's not too much, it's not too less. Just pour on the sweetness and the saltiness of the pork and the crunchiness of the skin and the cucumber. Man, it's very enjoyable. It's enjoyable. 
อกมันว้าวว้าวว้าวว้าวน่ากลัวมันแฮปปี้ไรน์มาไหมครับ It's very tasty and everything the flavor wise is very spot on the sauce itself มีชิมอะไรที่เป็นของดักซอสแต่ the the bun is a soft and smooth and and also soft the bun itself has a sweetness already from the bun But surprisingly, it's not over sweet, so everything just perfectly correct. But I really love the pork. It's a chewy, it's tender, moist, and the skin is a killer. It's very crisp, crunchy. Mm. I can eat all day of this, guys. Tenta. จะก็ขอเบาจนจนหันหาวซื่อจนจะแล้วก็นี่นี่มันซีวันเอ่อชูโร่กับกวาดซีรีส์จะมีสเปาคือสามันจะเบาเบาจนจนหันหาวซื่อโอเค so let's try the traditional one which is the standard barbecue pork let's see from the inside see guys wow Looks so yummy, right? It's kind of like uh, a diced uh, pork inside with chashu, not mistaken. And let's try. Let's try. The bun itself is really sweet, and the chashu is not it's not overly sweet. So it's just like a Saltiness in the from the chashu itself. So combined together with the uh, with the pork bun, sorry with the bun, combined nicely. But the pork bun itself is just like a normal barbecue pork bun you can buy outside. So the killer, still this one. I still like this one. Let's come back to this one for more, yeah, guys. For more bites. But I really can't resist this one. I really want to eat more and more for this pork bun. The quail pork. See guys, the meat so juicy. Yeah, so juicy. Fat and juicy. That makes the this quail pork excellent. But if you like high cholesterol, well, you can eat this once in a while. Nothing to lose, right? While you can eat, eat first and die later. Let's let's get that one later. Make sure you try it while you have, while you can. All right, let's do one more. Yes. Even in Asian culture, if you eat something and suddenly that one fall, it means that. Somebody like in the spiritual world want your food. That's why it's all. This is just, this is just like a myth. But I don't know if it's true or not. But it's just a myth. All people always saying like that. If your food is falling to the floor or falling somewhere while you're about to eat, usually some spirit around you want that one. <laughs> but don't be scared. It's only a myth, there, guys. If you believe it or not, well, if you have six ten, then you can see. If it's not, then forget it. Alright, alright, guys. Oh. Man, this one really, really my favorite. I can't believe it. That's so great, guys. My God, mm. so good. We still like. Oh my God, it's just kind of like you know, I'm in heaven, thinking some good thing happen. You know, make your stress gone. This is what the bow, the the bow tastes like. Okay, so thank you for joining with me today, guys. Sorry for a bit long video, a long review, but if you got any other suggestion or any um, comment or any question, please leave the comment below, and I'm more than happy to answer any of your question. 
and okay so until next week for another street food until then be safe be happy and keep up the good food adventure alive all right guys okay then i'll see you next week and don't forget thumbs up if you like it and subscribe all right okay then see you guys